Right here we have a Mac trash can, also known officially as the Mac Pro. This is a model A1481 and it has power issues. It's not powering on, so we're gonna see if it's the power supply. First thing we're going to do, switch that to the unlock position and pull the sheet up. Now you can see all the inner workings. You have your RAM, SSD, which is a NVMe drive, which is pretty nice. They're actually faster than the Mac proprietary stuff. You have what would be another slot if they had decided to make that another hard drive slot. More RAM and your front panel, which is actually really the back panel of the computer. Just a pro tip here, before you pop open your computer to change the power supply or attempt it, try a different power cable and try a different power outlet, just in case it happens to be one of those. It happens not very often, but it does happen. Now, Apple does like using a whole bunch of different screwdrivers and different types, but luckily this is just a regular torque screwdriver. So no special security bits. We just need to get this top part off. And like anything, use your pill holder to hold your screws. And with the screws removed and securely in our box, remember to close in the top and pushing this into red so they don't spill. Carefully remove this top part slowly so you don't break these cables back here. More torque bits and oh man, look at that dust. And carefully after remove these screws, carefully with the fingernail or a plastic prying tool, remove the cable for the fan and for the Wi-Fi too. And we're gonna dust all this out before we throw it back together. The power supply is actually this unit right here, but we still need to take the rest of this apart to get to it, which means unscrewing the bottom cover too. So we're just gonna turn this upside down and go for these screws. And now that these screws are removed, we're going to slowly remove this, which there is luckily nothing there, but a ton of dust. Now we have to carefully remove these guys in order to pop this guy up and we have a couple screws holding this in. For these guys we're going to use a plastic prying tool and kind of twist to get this to be forced off. Gotta be careful because these pins, you do not want to bend any of these pins. The same thing on this side. And now we're going to lift this straight up and be careful. because we have to unplug it from here. Now the same thing with this, so I rotate it to release the cable. And there you go, still tons of dust. And right here you can see the power supply. It's this whole big unit right there in the middle. Flipping this whole unit back over, we have a screw right here and another one right here. They're both T5 torque screws. Be careful because these screws are small and can bounce all over the place when they drop. So next step, you're gonna remove this cover and unscrew the four screws right here. And then after that, carefully pulling this apart to make sure that there's no cables stuck between the PSU and the main board. And there you go. You have the power supply here and the back panel right here, the front panel. And the final screws to get this guy off is a screw here, screw here on both sides. And then after we remove this, we have to safely unplug these power cables right here. Instead of pulling apart this power supply unit, we're just going to see if this entire PSU unit works. And we're reversing the entire process to get this guy in. Annoyingly, Apple wants this system to put all the way back together to even power on. Get the cover up on top, make sure it all lines up. The screws aren't all the way in, but we're locking this down. We're gonna plug it in and see if it powers on. And power. It would help if it was plugged in. And lights are good. Let's see if we get a display on. Sound. And. And. Apple. It is booting. So that is what you do if the power supply is out. Oh yeah, don't forget to take this off and screw in all the rest of the screws in here. Yeah, that's how you do 